Good evening, folks. My name is Amiibo Jason, and welcome to another installment of the Nintendo Wiretap, this time for the evening of May 8th, 2017. Every evening, we take a look at the biggest stories in the world of Nintendo and wrap it up into a nice, neat little package so you don't have to. Let's see the biggest news that happened today. Coming in at number one today, an early 2000s Sonic hoverboarding prototype was uncovered. The folks over at Unseen64 are at it again, uncovering details on yet another video game prototype that never saw the light of day. This time, the prototype features Sega's Sonic the Hedgehog and focuses on hoverboarding gameplay. Titled Sonic Extreme, it was being developed by the company Visionscape, the team behind various licensed games and Sonic Heroes CGI cutscenes. After the studio showed Sega the prototype and getting the go-ahead for a GameCube, Xbox, and a PS2 version, contact between the companies was soon lost and development stopped. The similarities to Sega's in-house Sonic Riders released in 2006 are uncanny. Visionscape's founder Matt McDonald did inquire about the legality of Sega taking similar ideas and implementing them into their own game, but was told the prototype belonged to Sega regardless of its creators due to the inclusion of Sonic the Hedgehog's assets. If you want to see more of this video, you can take a look at the full Unseen 64 video. We have it linked down in the description below. Coming in at number 2 today, NBA 2K18 is coming to the Nintendo Switch on September 19th. 2K Games has announced this morning that NBA 2K18 is coming to the Nintendo Switch on September 19th, the same day as the PS4, Xbox One, and PC version of the game. Alongside a standard edition of the game, the publisher will also release a Legends edition and a Gold edition, which include digital currency, in-game items, and more. This is the first time in a long time that we have seen a 2K title on a Nintendo home console, so it's kind of exciting to see it coming back. What do you guys think? Do you think the Switch version of this game can hold up compared to the PS4 and Xbox One versions? Let us know in the comments down below. And finally tonight, new Splatoon clothing items teased by Nintendo Japan. The official Splatoon 2 Twitter account in Japan has teased some new images of clothing items that are coming to the game when it's released in July. A series of items from sports apparel company known as Aroma was introduced and will include sneakers, hats, and t-shirts. We're certain that we're going to see a lot more clothing items in the weeks leading up to the launch of Splatoon 2, and we're curious to know what you guys want to see, or if there's a clothing item that has already been announced that you think is the best. Again, let us know down in the comments below, and we'll feature some of the best answers on our site tomorrow. And that's going to wrap up another installment of the Nintendo Wiretap, this time for the evening of May 8th, 2017. As always, you can find a link to the full written article down in the description below and head over to NintendoWire.com for even more Nintendo news. We have so much of it, we'd love to share it with you. If you want to see some more videos from us, some previous news, you can take a look at the annotations on the screen right now. Click on one of those and see one of our latest videos. And if you liked what you saw and you want even more daily Nintendo news, consider subscribing by hitting that subscribe button right in the middle of the screen. Until next time! See you guys later.